Welcome in to Cooking with Margie. I'm Eric Stafford, and this is Margie Mansur, and she is a registered dietitian, and also, uh, uh, well, you're, you work for the Extension. That's what I was going to say. That's but, right. But that's part of it. And today you have something a little different. Well, today we're going to learn a couple of ways to prepare bok choy. So, yeah, here we have a, a baby bok choy. I was so, going to say, first of all, what's bok choy? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm a little out, out of the loop on that. Well, you know, that's the reason that I thought this would be a good thing to uh, show folks. I think a lot of people, you, have you ever seen this in the grocery store? No, I haven't. Not that I know of. See, it just kind of hides there with all the other greens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you know, it's just kind of like a, sitting there on the shelf. Okay. Uh, it's a little baby. So... Um, <laughs> A lot of people, they, they don't really know what to do with a bok choy, and it's, uh, it's quite a uh, cabbage, okay? Oh, okay? It's like a Chinese cabbage. It's in that cabbage family. Oh, okay. And uh, it has a nice peppery flavor. Really? Um, you can eat the leaves raw, or you can uh, stir fry them or saute them. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it makes, it's a great addition to a stir fry. So, so yeah, I can't wait for you to try it okay, today. Okay, sure. I'm so, sure I've had it. I just didn't know I was eating it. You, you know might have had it at a Chinese restaurant. Exactly. And it might have been in some dish that you ordered and you weren't sure what all was in that. <laughs> but, yeah, could have easily been a bok choy. So the, the first thing, um, this is a baby one, and uh, this isn't a huge leaf, but they do uh, – they, there are different varieties, so there are uh -huh. definitely larger ones. Uh, I like the baby ones for if I'm going to eat raw, although you can eat the, the larger ones raw as well, but they're, it's a little bit more tender. Yeah. Um, so just to show you how, um, how to cut this up, so it's kind of like, it kind of looks like celery, doesn't it? Yeah, with the, a lot. With the stems, but these stems are really nice. Um, they have a nice crunchy texture. So I like to just cut the, just cut the base of that off, and then that that releases that. And I I washed this previously. Um, wow, it actually got it, got most of the soil <laughs> off of that. Actually, I don't see any soil on that, so that's okay, good. Good. Um, so then what I would do is go ahead and just sort of separate the stem from the leaves. Okay. So, so like like that, just just kind of cut that away. And then um, we might cut up our leaves a little bit differently than our stems. Okay. So I'm going to take the stem, <clears throat> cut that in half, and then just <clears throat> go across. <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> go across with that, uh, maybe quarter inch slices. Okay. Just like that. Um, so yeah, cut it in half and then just go across with quarter inch slices. And keeping your fingers out of the way, right? Yeah, That's always. That's always, always a good idea. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll let you do this in a minute. And then, oh, really? I, oh, I'm, you get to do she's it. She's putting me to work. <laughs> and then um, the greens, I mean, I with all salad greens, I like them just to be kind of bite-sized. So I'd okay. already cut some of that up, see the, oh, maybe yeah. an inch or something. So maybe I'll, I'll just cut that that way and then crisscross again right? so it's about an inch and then we can just put this in this other this bowl here okay for for our salad so you can get started on this okay. and while you work on this <laughs> i'm going to pull together an asian style salad dressing oh. and i have served the salad dressing to many different people including <laughs> children in when we grew uh, some bok choy in a school garden oh, okay. where they, they harvested their bok choy and then we all made this dressing together. So, oh. so again, I, I've got that in a um, mason jar, uh, which is, I think we've done this before when we yeah. made salad dressings where we can just shake it and sort of emulsify it all together. So I'm starting out, I have got a quarter cup of olive oil and the other cool thing about the mason jar is it has the little markers on the side, so mm -hmm. I just pour that right in, okay? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna add to that, um, so you know, you gotta have the sweet to balance the sour, so I've got oh, yeah. uh, two tablespoons of sugar. I have two tablespoons of white vinegar. Mm. 
and then adding a little bit of um, the salt through a tablespoon and a half of um, soy sauce. So you can see that that kind of gives it the Asian flavor, yeah. right? Got to have got to have a little so soy sauce in your Asian food, right? Of course, a little very, salty. Very common, yeah. So then all I have to do is, is shake this to get it, that emulsified together. And when I prepared this with children, you can get them to count to five. Okay. And then they pass it to the next person. And then, <laughs> <laughs> then the other kids can tear the greens. Yeah, tear <laughs> so it up. Tear the greens, put them in the bowl. So we don't want them using knives, right? No, not at all. Not if we can help it. I'm sorry, I was getting old. That looks good. Yeah, you're doing oh, okay. great with that. Yeah, nice, nice I'm work just, with that. I'm getting production mm -hmm. on it because I'm like, I did mm -hmm. all of one thing at one time. <laughs> okay, so we will dress our salad at the mm -hmm. end of the show to show what that looks like. Okay. Okay, we, so we will have the greens there. I'm also going to top that with Excuse me. Oh, you're joking. fine. Um, I've got some toasted almonds here. Yeah. And th that's always nice, that nutty flavor mm -hmm. crunch. And then for more crunch, I have uh, chow mein noodles. <laughs> Ooh, um, I like chow mein noodles. And green onions. I've already maybe like three, three little green onions. Toss some of those in there. That'll have, that'll, that gives it that mild onion-like flavor. So it has the peppery flavor from the bok choy, has a nice little crunch from the stems. Yeah. And then the onion, nuts, everything. It's a good balance. Yeah, a lot. Whoop. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm like. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the food we're not processor. Any, we're not in any hurry. So, um, well, he keeps working on that. <laughs> She thought I'd be done by now. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about how to kind of get this uh, ready for stir frying. Because oh, we're, okay. we're going to stir fry it or we're going to actually saute it. I don't have a wok or anything here. I'm just sauteing. They're actually stir frying and cooking in a wok can be very similar. Yeah. A wok is always um, very high heat. You don't have to yeah. go quite as high when you're, when you're stir frying. I kind of like just kind of chunked it up. I'm trying to get done. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Chunk bite that up. Bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized pieces. <laughs> it's good. Now, I have a big bite, so. <laughs> so it's all good. So I do chunky <laughs> style. So for the for the stir fry, um, it's actually very similar. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna uh, oh, okay. again. I'll I'll just go ahead and uh, oh, you made the knife warm. Nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> nice and work that's with that. And that's why the cat sit on my lap at home. <laughs> that's right. That's the way that works. <laughs> so I again, generate heat. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> just cut that again in half, and then kind of going across because these um, are gonna. We want them to cook up and be a little bit tender, but also be a little bit crispy. This is gonna. We don't want the, the, uh, to saute it too much because we don't want this to get mushy, kind of like oh, okay. spinach would. Yeah. We're not cooking <laughs> so we'll, greens. We're not cooking <laughs> greens. So um, let's see, I think what I'll do is just um, maybe cut it in the middle like that and uh, maybe half inch pieces like that. And okay. not too, just, just leave them a little bit bigger because so, okay. they're going to shrivel up. And bigger pieces take longer to cook. <laughs> okay. So that's the way that goes. More time. Mm. Okay, so we've got an electric skillet here. You could use any um, big, like a fry pan with a lid. Yeah. Um, anything would work. And I'm going to use just um, a vegetable oil um, because to saute it in, it has a high smoke point. So I've got it, I've got it fairly high. Okay. Fairly high heat because I want to do it quickly so it doesn't get real mushy. So just pour a little bit of that. Um, one of my favorite oils to use in sauteing is um, the sesame oil. Oh yeah. The the nutty yeah. uh, 
the dark sesame oil. Uh, it has such a great smell and flavor. Yeah. But it doesn't have a very high smoke point like just regular oils do. So, mm, vegetable oils. So I just add a little bit at the end for flavor. Yeah. Okay. Mm. okay, so we're starting out. I can feel it's getting warm. It's gonna start <laughs> shimmering there. My fat is. I'm starting out with a little bit of garlic and a little bit of ginger. So while that's heating up, I just wanna show you oh, this wow. amazing ginger that was harvested at our Unity Community Garden. Oh, okay. Isn't that cool looking? That is cool. Um, it's ginger is just it needs to grow in a warm climate and I guess it's warm enough here in the summer in Caldwell County to to grow the ginger yeah so uh, yeah this is something that folks can learn how to grow I mean I guess they could if you didn't want information about that you could always contact our horticulture persons through the cooperative extension and I've heard of folks mm -hmm. going through the woods and finding it you know ginger sometimes. or ginseng Oh, ah. that might be what it is. Okay, yeah, I was wrong. Yeah, you might be thinking ginseng. Know? Yes, that, that, but yeah, it's kind of a root like that, right? Yeah, it's right? a root. Very similar. Um, and then, this looks pretty bad, but this is garlic <laughs> <laughs> that was also grown in that garden. Yeah. In the Unity Garden. And they, uh, you know, you have to plant garlic. You plant it in the fall. Yeah. And then all winter long it grows and it develops the bulb underground. And then it comes up, um, you know, the green part, of course, like most plants come up in the spring. And then you can harvest it. I, I'm not sure exactly when it's harvested, on into the summer. And then and then they just dry it, and it has a really long shelf life. Yeah. Now, is that so, one still good? Mm -hmm. That one is little, still good. It just looks a little dirty, but, you know. It does. It, more, it, I just we'll clean didn't it know up. if that was dirt or rot. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. So, uh, yeah, actually, we, uh, we're using that today. We're using uh, the garlic. All right. Oh, boy. That's definitely hot. Got the garlic. <laughs> the pan, she is ready. We've got the ginger. Do you mind getting me a spoon? Yeah, oh, sure. Actually, I got one right here. Okay. We're going to go with that. Got a spoon right here. Get that out of there. No, it does something kind of, if you chop it up and put it in something, it will kind of stick to it. See, that turns brown quickly. Yeah, it's I'm, already turned. I'm going to put some mushrooms in my stir fry today. Okay. Because I love mushrooms. Yeah, and I like <laughs> mushrooms. I'm a fun guy. <laughs> You're a food fan. Fun yeah, guy. I'm a fun guy. <laughs> just keep that moving when it's a high heat like that. Yeah. Those mushrooms always absorb... Uh, they're just kind of like a sponge. They're yeah, really, they took all that oil away, didn't they? They did. I have to add some more. Yeah. So the mushrooms will give it a savory, a, a nice savory flavor. And right? a meaty yeah. kind of taste too. If, if, if you That's, are trying to avoid the meat, it's a good <laughs> substitute. Or remember when we made uh, mushroom beef tacos? Yes, they were very good. We added a lot of mushrooms to those. Yeah, just combined it with that meat. Yeah. So that's such a nice flavor. Mm, that's smelling good. So this is going to make uh, the greens a little more robust by by adding the mushrooms. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add these greens. Yeehaw. So that was one bok choy that I uh, cut up. It was about, this is a four cup container and it was overflowing. So it was wow. probably about... Uh, five cups. I'll just keep that going. And it'll cook down like the like we were talking about with greens. It'll kind of cook down a little bit. They do. They really cook down. So you see that mm -hmm. large volume but then it's going to go. Right. So I'm going to add um, about a tablespoon of um, the soy sauce. I don't think we'll need to add any more salt, but I mean, you, you yeah, soy sauce is pretty salty, but it's could. but it's so good. I'll be drinking the rest of the night. That's what we always say at our house. I'll be <laughs> because it so makes salty. you thirsty. Yeah. And then I have some rice vinegar. You know, a lot of people like to add vinegar to their greens. Oh yeah. Whew, that smells. 
very good. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, onion since I've got okay. some onion there. There you go. That'll Man, this give is it looking a nice good. flavor. It does look good. Okay, so just for a moment, I think I'll cover that to make sure that those greens kind of steam up a little steam bit. Steam up. <clears throat> Get tender. So, like I said, you could use those greens in, in any stir fry, and stir fries are, are so versatile. Yeah. Um, you can put whatever you want. If I had I had the mushrooms, I put that in there. If I had bell peppers, <laughs> I could put those in there. Yeah. Uh, any kind of vegetable, pretty much. Always good to put the ones that take longer to cook in there first and then add, uh, keep adding yeah. based on how long it takes to cook. Yeah. All right, so that's, that's kind yeah, of steaming, that's steaming through, up. right? So yeah. it's going to make sure, we'll make sure that that's um, cooked just enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, everybody has a different taste as far as that goes, how much they like things cooked up. But um, usually with stir fries or if you're cooking with high heat, mm, it's a little bit crisper and that can be nice. Yeah. It can be nice. Mm. All right, so I think that is almost done. Um, now with these greens, not only do they taste great, uh, they really do a lot for your body. Oh, right? okay. Yeah. So they've got a lot of potassium in them. So that's going to help counteract any uh, the sodium that we're eating. We're adding with the <laughs> the soy sauce. Always good to have potassium. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. If yeah, you're I mean, missing it, <laughs> you know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people just think bananas have it, but it's it's in a lot of foods. Oh, okay. Especially uh, green green leafies. Oh. Also, they have a, a lot of magnesium, and magnesium is great. It, it really helps keep your insulin working the way it should. Oh, okay. Um, and they have a lot. They have volume too, which uh, which is good. It helps fill you up. So this, this is just a side dish. I think I'll do and turn that off. And, and uh, you could serve this on some rice. You could add some, uh, any kind of protein to it yeah. and have a, uh, have a uh, complete meal, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just that with rice would be great. Yeah, or just have it like this and, and have whatever other um, starchy vegetable or starch or in protein on the side so yeah. so either way okay so i'm just going to let that rest for a minute and we'll go ahead and dress our salad and kind of kind of mix that together you want to shake it sure i'll shake it up. <laughs> shake it shake it I'm telling you it's fun <laughs> You gotta have fun doing it. You, can't you gotta have fun. I'm gonna put this in. They're crunchies. Like the crunchies. They make everything taste good, don't they? They do. <laughs> All right, so just pour some, however much you think we need. Well, <laughs> we don't wanna get it. We, might. we don't wanna get it too much. Well, I don't know. It might be just about the right amount. I think amount. it's just about the yeah. right amount. Could be. Uh, we'll go with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the good <laughs> stuff. And then just kind of toss that, and that, that'll be ready to eat. Now, I have made this one before as um, a main course as well. I had some um, some chicken that I had left over. Yeah. And uh, I just put it on there, and it was really a nice main course. Oh, okay. Because it already has, it's got your greens, you got your, you know, maybe add a few more chow mein noodles <laughs> for mm -hmm. your starch. And you know your protein, so that's what that's what I like to see in a full meal. Yeah. Well rounded. Yeah. All right. And then look nice. That does look nice. And then we have. Um, I'll make you a little plate here. Oh, so well, that's yeah. even nicer. <laughs> yeah. You, you gotta have it. You gotta have it. You gotta try it out. <laughs> okay. So that that looks okay. pretty too, that looks doesn't it? Pretty And you know, I didn't think of this until oh, now. Oh. Look at that. Sprinkle a little on yeah. there. Got the good stuff. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. I'm going <laughs> to hide over here and eat it. Uh, he's going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go on camera. <laughs> so you got to remove the mask to eat. 
No matter what restaurant you're in. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I gotta get six feet away. <laughs> get my pool so, noodle. Oh man, that is so good. It really gives a lot of flavor. All of our ingredients gave so much flavor to that. Uh, especially that, that fresh ginger. Wow, isn't that yeah. something? It is something, <laughs> and I had to go right for the mushrooms because man, that's the best part. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you like the way it tastes. I look forward to joining you. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so next time you're in the store and you see that bok choy, you get, well, you gotta look for the bok choy. It's just kind of hiding out there. Okay. Now you'll know what to do with it, right? All right, well, Margaret, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, have a great day. Have a great one. Thank you.